Hello, today we are going to talk about some habits we people or project manager we, we have and I'm trying to give you some guidelines on which habits we could change. I'm Cresson from Vision 6D and I'm here in the beautiful city of Berlin and you see behind me boats along a channel within Berlin passing. So the, the first of those habits is critic. Um, let's be open to, to critics let's be open to improvements we, we can do. And when we are criticized, usually we take this personally or we do it personally. So it's better to have a neutral critic, which is a constructive critic. How can somebody improve in a certain things? Let's show him the way. So this was my habit number one about being open to critics. Habit number two is the gossip. We are maybe used to go to coffee breaks and then to talk about other people not in so nice ways. So this is a habit we, we should uh, avoid. And also it means that we should take responsibility on what we do. And this should concern us and not what others have done. What we can do is try to understand them. Number three, when there are issues or problems, try to be a problem solver. Try to think, how can I help? What can I do to improve? That's it. Number four, be an achiever. If you want to solve certain issue, if you said you are going for next week to do something, do it, achieve the things. If it becomes difficult, don't drop it and pass to something else. Go to the end, solve an issue. That's it. Hey, number five is about margins. Give you time in your project. You, you know really well that things might go wrong, so let's plan to have a bit more time to face those things. And at the same time, let's have some financial uh, margins, meaning to have some spare money in case you need to buy a product, you need to buy a service, or certain things are going to cost more. Hey, number six, do you have to know everything? Of course no, of course no, but you can read, you can study and uh, you can adapt. People I know that are successful, it's exactly what they do. They read, they study and then they adapt. So be really fast in adapting. That's the key point. Oh, the, the consultant is not going to be here uh, tomorrow. Does it mean we, we have to postpone? Oh, okay, so it's doable, we can do it. Number seven, about usage of the phone in project meetings or generally in meetings. People tend to say, no, forbid it. I'm not so restricted. There are times when it's important. There are certain informations that are really important and that need to be read or acted upon. I have the example where within one project I was waiting for an answer from the supplier. I was waiting the, the call and in the middle of the meeting the call came. So I saw who it was. I left the room, got my call, went back into the room and this influenced the continuation of the meeting because there were relevant informations about things we were discussing that the external supplier could provide. So what I want to say is if in the case of your uh, project or in that meeting or in this situation the call is important, let's take it. There are other cases, of course, when you see people in meetings going through social networks, uh, you might think, well, they are maybe not interested or not involved enough in the project. So, I mean, it's up, it's open, but a good usage of the mobile phone surely can help in any project. So, I let you with all those thoughts. What I know is that habits aren't easy to be changed. So these are just ideas. You can comment or anytime put me your comment or other subjects you would like me to, to talk about. So till then, have a good time and I leave you with wonderful Berlin behind me and I wish you a good time and I tell you bye-bye.
see you